again to your YouTube channel ENC Edumate. Last episode we had a wonderful idea about the profile of Stephen Hawking by Ferguson and where we have come across many important questions and answers. Now we go for writing the important questions and answers of uh, the last class come. What do you learn about Stephen Hawking's childhood? It is quite evident or very neatly printed in your profile in the textbook. Stephen Hawking was born on 8th January 1942 in Oxford, England. Frank and Isabel Hawking, Stephen's parents were not wealthy, but they believed in the value of education and decided to educate Stephen Hawking in Westminster, a famous public school in the heart of London. Unfortunately, Stephen was ill during the scholarship examination. Consequently, he attended local St. Albans School. This is the image of St. Albans School. By the time he was eight, thought seriously of becoming scientist. But his father urged him to study medicine. But for Stephen, Biology was too imprecise to accept. He wanted a subject in which he could look for exact answers. Stephen was not a genius, but an ordinary school boy. Slowing, not slow, please make it error. Slow learning to read and handwriting was horrible for the teachers. Slow learning to read and handwriting was horrible for the teachers. Now, let us listen to another question that is comment on Hawking's life at Oxford. In 1955, at the age of 17, Hawking went to Oxford to study natural science and specialize in physics. He joined the university college where his father studied and the oldest one at Oxford University founded in 1249 A.D. Anno Domini, the year of Lord. For about a year and a half, Stephen was lonely and bored. He could not 
concentrate he could not stick hard or concentrate hard at his academics but halfway through the second year he began to enjoy oxford another question what opinion did hawkins peers at oxford have about him stephen became popular and well accepted among his peers same age group of friends he was lively buoyant buoyant means cheerful and optimistic and adaptable he wore his hair long was famous for his wit liked classical music and science fiction and took part in sports please look at that last sentence he wore his hair long was famous for his wit liked classical music and science fiction after science there is no comma science fiction two words without the comma and took part in sports now let us listen to the next question cite an example to prove that stephen hawking was sharp witted did his wit help him anyway stephen had applied to do a phd at cambridge to do a phd applied to a phd or applied to do a phd doctor of philosophy at cambridge while he was student at the oxford and accepted on condition that he got a first from oxford he was confident that he could get through successfully but as the examination day approached his confidence failed and ended up disastrously on borderline between a first and a second the examiners summoned hawking summoned means called him for an interview and questioned him about his plans he told them boldly that is a witty remark of uh, stephen hawking if i get a first i shall go to cambridge if i get a first i shall go to cambridge if i receive a second i will remain at oxford so i expect that you will give me a first he got his first and went to cambridge his wit h i s not he his h i s his wit helped him to get what he wanted 
Please students just to make his wit, not he wit, H-I-S, his wit helped him to get what he wanted. The next question is, Stephen's first year at Cambridge was worse than at Oxford. Why? Stephen's slipshod or poor mathematical background troubled him. Slipshod or poor mathematical background troubled him. General, general spelling is wrong, please, students. G E N E R A L. General is G E N E. General relativity was extremely tough for him. During his third year, he had started getting a big care. He had fallen once or twice or thrice for no clear reason. No clear means no apparent reason. It is printed in your text for no apparent reason. No apparent reason. Apparent here meaning no clear reason. Soon he had trouble tying his shoes and sometimes he had a difficulty in talking. Now we will pass on to the next question. How did tragedy strike Hawking shortly after his 21st birthday? How did tragedy strike Hawking shortly after his 21st birthday? The answer goes, shortly after his 21st birthday in 1963, Hawking contracted a rare disease called amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Once again, I will pronounce amyotrophic lateral sclerosis an incurable disease. It caused the gradual disintegration of the nerve cells in the spinal cord and the brain. He was deeply depressed. He did not know what to do and what his future would be. Another question following this answer is what drastic change came over Hawking after the diagnosis of the disease? You can start the answer from the question. A drastic change occurred in the life of Stephen. After the diagnosis, a drastic change occurred in the life of Stephen. He had made many dreams that were confused at that time. Before his condition was diagnosed, he was bored with life. After being discharged from the hospital, he dreamt that he was going to be executed. His death is near. He was going to be executed means uh, he is going to die immediately. He realized then that there were a lot of 
important things to do if he was given a reprieve a reprieve means time to live for some more time hawking was getting some more time to live and life was precious another question what trait of hawking's character do you not hear so here we will get the trait of character of stephen hawking is that he was wishing to sacrifice his life for contributing something good for the humanity optimistic attitude from miserable conditions so these are the characteristic trait of stephen sickyard now i hope that you have all taken down the notes i had provided now it's time to wind up next episode we will come across stephen hawking sir marital marriage life and what are the complications and the troubles he had come across due to his contractedness with the rare disease called amyotrophic lateral sclerosis if you liked this channel please don't forget to subscribe this channel enc achievement wish you all the best thank you